Good day, Grade Sevens. Today we're going to have a look at the term test you wrote in Term 1. We're going to have a look at Question 2 at the language. The first question is finite and non-finite verbs. The question is underline the verb in each sentence and say whether it's a finite or a non-finite verb. Number A. Skateboarding makes its Olympic debut. First we need to find the verb. In this sentence the verb is makes. Now you have to decide whether that verb is a finite or a non-finite verb. In this case makes changes according to the tense. If we made the tense simple past tense it will be made and if we make it more than one makes changes to make so those are the rules for finite verbs so this is a finite verb number b for the second time in its history tokyo is hosting the summer olympics the verb in this sentence is hosting you will see that you have an auxiliary verb in front of hosting the word is the word is is the one, the auxiliary verb, is the one that's changing when we change the amount of people or things or when we change the tense. Hosting stays the same and that is the rule for non-finite verbs. The simple past tense. I gave you a sentence which you had to change to the simple past tense. Number A. The biggest change to the Olympics for 2020 is the addition of the five new sports and the return of baseball. First we need to find the verb in order for us to change the sentence to the simple past tense. In this case the verb is is. The simple past tense for is is was. The sentence will read. The biggest change to the Olympics for 2020 was the addition of the five new sports and the return of baseball. Sentence number B. These games will see the introduction of some exciting new sports to the lineup too. The verb in this case is will see. This is the future tense. We just have to change it to the simple past tense. Simple past tense is saw. So the sentence will read, These games saw the introduction of some exciting new sports to the lineup too. Question 3. Compound and complex nouns. Number A. Underline the compound noun. A compound noun two nouns that are joined to make one new noun with a new meaning. The sentence I gave you. It's Tokyo's second time hosting a Summer Olympics, 56 years after their first time in the spotlight. So we have to search for two nouns that made sense on their own, that had meanings of their own, and now they are joined to make a new noun. In this case, spotlight. Number B. Underline the complex noun. A complex noun is a group of words that work together as a noun. So we see them as one thing, a noun phrase. If you have a look at the sentence, the 2020 Summer Olympics will award medals across 339 events, representing 33 different sports. So we're looking for a group of words that work together as one. In this case, it is the 2020 Summer Olympics. It's not just the Olympics or the Summer Olympics. It's the 2020 Summer Olympics. Now let's look at the concrete and abstract nouns. 
ask you to write the following nouns under the correct headings. We've got host, stadium, year and competition. Host, this is not to host something. This means to be the host. Remember, we're dealing with nouns. So, if I'm the host of a party, then I'm a concrete noun. You can see or touch me. Stadium is a place. We can see the stadium. Year, we can't see a year. And competition, we can see a competition between two people, but we can't see a competition itself. Let's look at the pronouns. Fill in the correct pronoun. Remember, a pronoun stands in the place of a noun. Number A. The ultimate design of the stadium is won by a Japanese architect, Kengo Kuma. Now we're talking about that architect, Kengo Kuma. He's going to be world famous. So, it will be he. He is going to be world famous after impressive design is now being used for this important sporting event. After his impressive design is now being used for this importing, important sporting event. Number B. I can't wait for the Summer Olympics 2020 to start. Remember, we're talking about I. Then it is I again. I like to watch the gymnastics, swimming and athletics on TV at home. On my TV or on our TV. It can be any one of the two. Now let's look at the antonyms. I ask you to write an antonym from the passage in question one for two words. You don't have the passage in front of you, so I'm going to help you. Remember, antonyms are opposites. Number A, minor, major. B, present, absent. Now let's look at the next question, singular and plural. Remember singular is one and plural is more than one. At number A it says write the plural for rugby. Rugby doesn't have a plural. It stays rugby. Number B, write the plural of price. This one is where you just put the S at the end, prices. Number C, write the singular of facilities. So I'm giving you the plural and I want the singular form. This is just facility. Remember when you change from the singular to the plural form, the Y changes to an I and you add an ES. Number D, write the singular of venues. This is where you just take away the S, venue. The last question, adjectives. Rewrite the following sentences using the correct form of the adjective. Number A. Between Tokyo and Istanbul, Tokyo is the good city of the two to host the Summer Olympics 2020. Remember, when we're dealing with these adjectives, we're either searching for a comparative adjective or a superlative adjective. So, we must distinguish now, is this comparison being made between two things or more than two? In this case, two, between Tokyo and Istanbul. So, we must use the comparative form of the adjective. The comparative form of the adjective for good is better. So, the sentence will read, between Tokyo and Istanbul. Tokyo is the better city of the two to host the Summer Olympics 2020. Number B. 
of all the athletes, the gold medal winner was the fast athlete in the race. Once again, we must first determine if we're making a comparison between two things or more than two. In this case, all the athletes, so it's more than two. So we're dealing with the superlative form of the adjective. The superlative form of the adjective for fast is fastest. So the sentence will read, of all the athletes, the gold medal winner was the fastest athlete in the race. Grade sevens, I hope you understood the memo, but if you still have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Goodbye.